Hey, I want to show you this first. This I am painting over the pour from video 525. And I'm showing you this first because otherwise I'm going to lose the number 525 from my head. This, I believe, is 536. Whatever number this is, it's yesterday's, um, the last video. Look how awesome that is. It is super cool. It is way cooler. I tried just awesome. I just can't get over this area especially. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. So super pleased with that one. And now on to this one. Um, this one I thought I had really, really liked. Uh, let's see if I can get any closer. I had really liked and then after it dried and I kept looking at it and it just seemed off. Um, it see, it looked to me like it had been electrified. Um, I covered it because it had, uh, glitter. I sprinkled glitter on it. So I put a layer, a very, very, very thin layer of gesso and sanded it. So, I mean, it's almost not there. Um, and you can kind of see the pattern still. It just looked, I don't know, like a glorified paint spill. I don't know how to describe it. It just wasn't clicking in my brain. It was just, it just wasn't, it wasn't. So um, that is the beauty of, well, pretty much any painting except, I don't think oils, I don't think you can paint over oils, can you? Correct me if I'm wrong, but if you did a huge oil painting, well, beside the fact that it would cost a fortune, um, can you paint over that? I don't know. Never thought, really thought about it. But with acrylics, that's the beauty of acrylics, is that you can paint over them. Uh, so, oh, crud. Hold on. So... Look at this, I have I have tan paper. Isn't that exciting? Um, I bought it to wrap packages in to mail, but I, I didn't pay close enough attention when I ordered it. It's very, very thin. It's thinner even than my white butcher paper. So this isn't really something I would securely want to send in the mail unless it, you know, I really take the heck out of it. But, um, I did, look at my cute, I am really bad with decorating. Um, but I've got my cute little this. I will show you on my next video that my mom's coming over for her birthday dinner tonight. And that is, <laughs> excuse me, that is a collage from JD, JD's Creative. Um, who I've talked about quite a bit. And my mom had seen it on her Instagram and loved the colors. And so I bought it for her and I've been keeping it ever since. And I can't wait to give it to her. Cause I didn't even let JD put it on. You know how if you put something on Instagram and you tag somebody? I didn't even, I don't think I even had her, I don't think she tagged it. So I was afraid my mom would see. Although she she does use Instagram, but she's not like an Instagram pro, so she may not have seen it. But uh, I didn't want to take any chances. And JD's got some awesome new, like chunky, chunky, and she uses beautiful wood. At everything I just I totally have an artist crush on that woman. Her work is. Gorgeous. I thought of trying alcohol inks on my own. And then I kind of thought, you know, I don't really have a huge, huge interest to, because you got to invest money in it. I mean, it's not a ton of money, but I'm guessing I'd have to invest, you know, probably 
50 to 100 bucks on all the ink and, you know, good quality stuff. When it's really not a huge passion, so I figure the money that I would use doing it myself, I can buy other people's amazing finished products. So it, it's been interesting. The more that I sell my art, the more I have been involved in purchasing and trading for other people's art. Um, I don't know if Girl Scouts Art Venture is a national thing um, or just a local thing. I, I don't know that much about it, but I did it last year and you can you enter a couple pieces and then you can um, you can take a percentage of up to 50% of the profit or you can donate all of it and last year it's like a beautiful event you know semi black tie and um, an artist get to go for free but last year I didn't buy anything, but this year I am really, my goal is to leave there with some art. That is my goal. And there's tons of it. They had a really cool metal yard sculpture thingy last year. That wasn't even that much money, but by the time I looked at it, um, it had sold. It's an auction, but I can't remember how it works. But my husband and I had never been, and so we didn't, like, know what to wear. We didn't, know, you know, and so luckily we looked, we looked all right. When in doubt, I've, I've always been taught, when in doubt, overdress. So, so, uh, so I wasn't like formal, but I think I had black jeans on, but I had like a big fancy sweater and stuff. So I've always, when in doubt, overdress. All right, let me, oh my gosh. Touch this. And that I really realized, I realized that I that was kind of a dumb wasted move on this part because I'm going to be using a hair dryer which will dry it out even more. I did not need that. Um, and I still have my makeshift taped on um, directional thing, which I don't know if I like yet. Um, somebody was asking me what wattage this is, but it's so covered in paint that I don't know. It says Revlon Ion Dryer. I'm guessing, I don't know, what are they, like 18, 25, or, I don't know. My mom was out shopping for a hair dryer today, and she's like, mine is 1875, and I want a 2024, so I'm like, I, I had no idea what she was talking about, but I went to my synagogue this morning and we baked hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of home and tashin for Purim coming up. And I was the roller. I was rolling the dough. I have a fit since I don't work out. And we were there for almost three hours. I have a feeling tomorrow I'm going to wake up and my shoulders are going to hurt. And I'm going to be like, what the heck happened? And then I'll remember. Home intentions. Which, um, those of you who are not familiar with home intention, it is a cookie. It is a three-pointed cookie filled traditionally with, um, like, apricot preserves, um, poppy seed, jelly stuff, um, like jellies. But now, because, you know, Pinterest and stuff, now they're filled with all sorts of, I mean, there are rainbow ones. And I saw a thing on the internet with unicorn homentations that had, like, frosting and glitter. So, 
So they, they've come a long way. And I bought part of my costume for my, for there's an adults only Purim um, party Saturday night. Which if you are local and Jewish and watching, here's my plug, go to it. <laughs> Because I know there are local people that watch me, so that's my plug. Go to it. It's fun. It's an open bar. You do have to RSVP and buy a ticket, but you'll have fun. Ooh, I should get a proceeds of the sale now. I, as I'm pouring this, realize that I'm not quite sure about the colors. That yellow. That yellow is questionable. That's the one I mixed up. It's got a whole bunch of different um, colors in it. Add a little more white around it. And I want to thank those of you who supported me with your nice comments yesterday. My painting when I was having some anxiety issues yesterday, um, which FYI did not go away um, pretty much until I went to bed. But today I woke up fresh and new. So that is, that is the good thing with time is that it's always changing. Nothing ever stays the same, but I appreciate those of you that gave me your words of support and a lot of you that um, also suffer as well with anxiety. Um, I do have, I have been diagnosed with other, with another um, mental illness I've had forever. Um, most of you don't know and you wouldn't know because I live a complete, full and happy life. So now some of you who know me know and that's okay because I would like to think that I, you know, people look at me and I'm a fully functioning human <laughs> for the most part. So there it is. It's out there. Can't take it back now. Well, I could not um, put this video on, but out of these 500 and some videos, I have been nothing if not open and honest. <laughs> that went wrong. Now I'm wondering what to do about it. And what I think I'm going to do is to go like this and scoop it up. Check it out. You can do that. It's your painting. You can do what you want. Voila. All right. Ugh, all these dried things from the side of this keep coming. Mm. I don't like this part either. Or this. But you know what? I am not. I think I will spread this out a bit. Well. Yeah can't really mop it up. There's just really a lot of paint there right now.
let us, let us, I'm so sorry. Um, maybe I don't want that color. Let's do Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And um, cad orange. Fluorescent blue. Hmm, what other color? I think I, I want to stay away from the yellow. Um, I don't want any more of that green color. Um... Oh, FYI, um, uh, Mystery Red is no longer. I mixed Mystery Red into this, which had a whole bunch of other colors in it. Um, so this is now Mystery Red. Well, Mystery Red lives within it. <laughs> that sounds really bizarre. Now you're thinking, yeah, she is a little fur in the head, but no. I just like the colors. Um, gosh, do I go with Prussian? So I've got a lot of red and blue, which is gonna make purple. And I got the orange. Yeah. I'm gonna do aqua green. Oh shit. Okay, hold on one moment. Okay, that lid was not on. And it just got on my mom's present. Okay, so let's just take that lid off and shake it, or stir it by hand. Ooh, this stuff's really watery. Like super watery. Look at the lid. All right, so now we've got color all over. It's not in that big puddle anymore. I have white paint all over. So what happens is kind of gonna be a mystery. Let's go for it. Hang on, I gotta move my chair. Pastel. And while I love that part, so I'm just gonna play with it a little while, a little bit, tip it, tilt it off somewhat. See what can come of it before I switch gears all together and try something else. Because I'm really loving the red veinings. That's really cool. But 
the rest of it around it is not jeez trying to decide how much I love see the it's veiny like all the way up into there how much I love that much that part versus I don't like the rest of it but I am not seeing any way of being able to keep that while tossing the rest at all. And if I add more color onto this and do the hair dryer again, it's just going to get muddier and muddier and muddier. So no. Let's see if I can. No. Oh, man. This is a huge bummer. Well, let's just see what happens. It's scrunching up right now. You can see how the pink thickened and dried from that hair dryer, the little bit it was on there. I could do my, you know, flip and drag with white over it, but I'm just gonna end up with more of this pastel stuff and I don't want that. Um, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye to that. It's beautiful, but it is not, it's not in the stars for this pour. So, You know, you see videos of the hair dryer pores, and I still really, I need to put the link. If you go back to one of my videos that's like way in the hundreds, there is one that I used a hair dryer on. It was um, one of the first circles I did. Um, so it was like two years old, and I love that one. Um, ooh, look how pretty that is, though. Look how pretty the drip off is. Very nice. <laughs> so, uh, oh, my point. On um, when you watch a lot of the hair dryer pores, they all seem they all seem to turn out, but they don't all turn out. <laughs> and this is proof because they can get very muddy, um, especially if you pick the wrong colors, which um, obviously I did. Especially, well, and I think the second time around was worse because I had, I had kept all the colors from the first time, so it got even murkier. All right. So do over, and I think I'm going to do an open cup, um, and where I twist and turn and get the lines that I like. And this thin paper is going to be totally worthless against. Hang on, you know what I'm gonna do? Maybe. No, I'm not going to because I can't find anything right now. I was, oh, here. I just do not want this to be a huge, nasty mess, which it is, but it's going to soak through this paper. So I'm just going to slip 
Yeah, I see it's already stuck. Sorry, sorry. If I was an editor better, I would speed this part up or cut it. But remember how like six months ago, my husband got me the video app and or video program and I never, we never got installed on my computer. Because, <laughs> you know, that's how things go. But he's done with basketball season, so he should have more time now. And I think our taxes are done. <laughs> so between those two things, he should have time now. Oh, you know what else is different between, well, no, but it was the colors that got murky. I was going to say, this white paint is thicker than I usually have it, but I think it was the my color choice. Um, the paint didn't flow as easily as it has in the past, so part of it could have been the um, consistency, but I think it was more um, color choice or lack thereof. I can't get over how beautiful the tray is, and I don't want, I don't want a lighter painting like that. But look, it's got my lines. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I am not going to torch it, because I will be torching it at the end. Um, this is just plastic. And I probably should have decided on colors. Um, let's do alizarin. And let's do vermilion with iridescent medium. And, oops. Let's do copper. Gold, I think we got a theme going. And all right, so the reddish, the oranges, copper, gold. Kind of pissed at that homemade yellow. I'm blaming I'm blaming this for the fall of the first one. Blue, no, do not want blue. Well, maybe my Prussian blue. Definitely don't want pink. Um, no, I don't want that. Could do this, so I shouldn't have done this yet. Ah! But I may use Prussian blue instead of the aqua green. Ta -da. And I believe these are colors. I'm going to go show you this. I want to say those colors are very similar to what I used on this. Um, and I have spritzed this canvas to try and tighten it but it has a wave to it. So if anybody besides getting it wet and drying it has an idea of what to do, um, give me a holler. It's a level one canvas from Michaels, so it's not as tight as it could be. I really, really, it's not worth it for me to unstaple the back and restaple it. Um, it's just not good enough quality. It'll tear the whole thing up. So that is not an option. Um, I guess there is an option of cutting it out, mounting it on wood, but I don't really want to do that. I thought about um, putting cardboard underneath <coughs> and resining it, which would um, tighten it up. So if you've got 
an idea that you think would work. I would love to hear it. All right, so starting with those two. Gold always sinks to the bottom. Anytime I do stuff with these colors, I always think of my grandmother, and I have no idea why. Because, I mean, she didn't really have colors associated with it, you know? So I really don't know why. Maybe because they always make me think of the desert. They make me think of the Arizona desert. And they never lived in Arizona. <laughs> they did live in California in the desert, but who knows? Is that I used copper? Oh, my husband's home. So let's see. So I think I'm going to have to go back in with more colors. But as we are now, I'm going to torch it because remember that's going to make all those white cells come up. No. I was, I was thinking I could hair dry. I could, no, but I'm not going to. So this one is going to be what I love so much. Yeah, this white might be a little too thick. Shake, shake. Okay. I'm waiting for it to come down over on my left side. Now I'm going, look, that's so cool. I'm gonna make sure I'm going to torch again just to make sure that a bunch don't come back up. Perfect. They don't. Yeah.
It's like super duper thick. was not going to do that, but I'm having a whole lot of trouble getting the paint to move. Um, and there's no way I'm going to be able to keep those crisp lines. So this is the easiest. on this side to do that. There we go. Oh, that's like some nasty. Let's get some. Did. Some, this, something's happening here which I don't like. Big circles going with this. This is very cool. Totally not what... I mean, I thought that first thing was amazing. Not the very first thing. The, what I just had before I started blowing on it. Which I think ruined it. Oh, wow. I love this. New white on that. Okay, that is very, very cool. I could see this in almost any household because the colors are fairly kind of innocent colors. Gosh, I wonder if I can somehow work gold leaf into it before I resin, but I don't really know where I'd put it. Oh, I 
I'm really happy with this. I'm going to bring you over. And hopefully not turn you off, even though I can't. Oh, look at all these that I have to varnish. This one I totally had forgotten about. This one I have to drop off at my friends this week. I love that one. So let's go on over here. Oh, the stain, the water spot from that is almost gone. Check it out. It's got lines and then some funky flingies, which were accidental flingies. Super, super pleased with that. And here you can see how pretty the, the pour off was. Look at that. Love it. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.